Do it again. Hey, <laughs> Anthony. I'm making natural. All right, what's up? <laughs> this is natural. What are you talking about? Uh, the orange juice is natural. Okay. All natural. How do you like your new place? New spot's cool. It's uh, it's kind of a bitch put together. Why? Dude, this shit is so boring. Like, what do you mean? That's the fun part. Like, just the freaking, like, like, picking your floor, that's fun. Figuring out what kind of paint color you want, that's cool. Like, that is fun. Like, where you get your mirrors and how much and what's the cheapest price, that's cool. What do you got to do in terms of, like, a panic door and an outward swinging thing to make sure that you're 80 compliant? That's kind of boring. Oh. Uh, like, space out square feet based off your occupancy on the street that your area is so that you can only use dance room as an accessory feature instead of, like, the head, like... Thing that's kind of like not as fun, you know what I mean? Like all the law-abiding shit is the yeah, boring shit. Fuck like, the government. The law is so whack. <laughs> it is. And it's like I feel like I feel like two situations could have either happened for compliance issues, right? Either one, a bunch of people fucked up, and then so they had to keep on like throwing on these random little like amendments and laws to make things so difficult for people nowadays. Or two, a bunch of rich ass, dumb, powerful, greedy people that were like the founding fathers of these systems and stuff like that were like. Uh, let's make some changes so shit's easier for us. It's the I, former. I think it's the it's the poor fucking government official motherfuckers that want to make more tax money. So the latter. Most of it, from what I heard, is the former though. Either what? way, it's uh, it's like the government gets sued, and they're like, "Holy shit, let's pass some more laws to protect the people that are sued." I mean, uh, prevent us from getting sued. Pretty much. Like for for example, the ADA stuff. There's like a bunch of different types of ADA organizations out there, and then they just go around to see if everything's ADA Trolls, compliant. Right? Yeah, like with wheelchairs and go by, and they're like, "Ah, oh, there's no ramp here." And, and then they, they sue you. Class action lawsuit. And they sue you. It's uh, like a, a bunch of anonymous ADA um, associations out so, there. Like that kind of stuff right now. I'm trying to. I just want to dance. I just want to open up the spot, get it ready and stuff. The good thing is you know some powerful people, so you have that kind of buffer in front of you. You guys. Kind of That's back. why the mafia. We was didn't have anyone with the fucking companies. barbell. <laughs> yeah, we did for the barbell Monterey Park. No, because he's saying he knows us, and I'm saying, oh, like we couldn't do shit. We had to talk to someone else. Yeah, we know the same guy that Anthony right. knows. So that's what I'm saying because well, he no. pointed at us. That he no, knows no. us. Uh, so you guys, yeah, I'm looking for help, guys. <laughs> oh, you gotta turn luck. me down right now. Yep, right we here. We should hire the mob. <laughs> <laughs> and do what? <laughs> okay, then. All right, we'll hire them. Yeah, hire them. <laughs> No, they'll get the problem solved for you, and then they'll extort you and make your business shut down. But in the meantime, they'll solve the problem for you, and talk to any politician. Planet talk. Hey, what happened to your computer tonight? Fuck that bitch! I will fucking murder that bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Fucking hey. interior designer my ass, fraud is more like it. Fraud designer. Oh, Don't trust anybody just because they say they're a professional. How did you know about that? Dang. I called Anthony. I hit him up. And you oh. told him he's a fraud. No, the so the that weekend when I showed up to the office, I was like, "Fuck!" Like, if we gotta get some emergency solutions up in here, I just started hitting up everyone and everyone. And so I know Anthony has good taste. No compliment. Mm. And <laughs> and no compliment. <laughs> and then so I was like, "Okay, who would he go for? Like fashion designing or construction?" And then I also hit up Phil Wayne from Wang Fu. Because uh, based off some of their sets, I was like, oh, the set design looks good. Love before sex. What? We fell in love before sex. You guys are just losers. <laughs> so We're if, married. The bark. It works. So yes. You fell in love with her before sex, right? Yeah. Then, does that mean there was ever a point where, for example... But I also known that, her for like three years before that. That's what I'm saying. And then you found out she had a dick. Okay. Would you suck it? If I... If... Okay, so I fell in love with her... Then the one day we're gonna get naked and do it, and I found out she had a dick. Yeah, it's like a small one too. It's not even a, like a huge deal. It's not bigger than yours. It doesn't make you feel like any type of weird self-esteem. She's got a dick. She doesn't have any no low voice. Everything else is like functional. She got some boobies and stuff like that. Uh, Does dick. she have a vagina? No, yes. I have a dick. I got both. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're like, hermaphrodite. You, you, you can't be fucking like your own system, but you're a hermaphrodite. She's just like I've been, I've been waiting for the love of my life to like be down and suck my dick. That's a hard question because I think now I would because I really really love her. That's what I'm saying. But then in the beginning, you might have just ran away. I might have been. I don't know if I'll run away. I'll probably be like, can I think about it? So what if it's like a growth developmental day? It's like you love. It's just a vagina. Yeah. You're doing your shit. Like a couple years into the marriage, there's just a dick start to sprout for some reason. Yeah. 
then I would ask her, have you ever thought about plastic surgery? She's like, it's, it's not in my culture or my religion to alter <laughs> elements of my body. I love, of. It. I, I love it. I'm comfortable with it. I love it now. It's a part of me. Um, so plastic surgery is out of the question. I'd probably be like, this is weird, but um, fuck it. He's there. Yeah, I love her a lot, so. Dude. That's love. That's, that's kind of romantic that you would suck her dick. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I would suck your dick if you had one. Thank you, baby. But it's always easier to say when they don't have one, you know? Right. When you're actually presented with it, <laughs> then you're like, oh, That's shit. That's a dick. Would you rather suck a chick's dick or a girly dude's vagina like you would fuck it? Ooh. It depends. I think it depends on how girly this dude is. Because if this dude is so girly that like he's Thailand. hot. Would you rather have sex oh, with a would. dude from Thailand who has a vagina so you don't know it's a dude? Or would you rather suck a girl's dick who's a banging-ass mm. girl and you're, like, friends with her? Oh, sure, this is really good. So, banging ass girl with like an eight inch dick. Uh -huh. And your friends. And your friends. Or. Or a Thai dude who went girly sex change. And you know how the Thai girls are, are guy girls, gals. They do a really good job. Yeah, they're like. So they're banging. Would you rather have sex with that or suck your friend banging chick's dick? Wait, are you asking about sucking, or are you talking about just banging? You suck the dick, or you bang the chick. Oh, bang the chick. The chick dude. The chick dude. You bang the 100%, dude. 100%, yeah. You bang a dude over sucking the chick's dick. Of course. What about you? This is my problem. I never ask questions with, a, with, a, with an answer in mind. <laughs> so you never thought about it thoroughly yet. Think about it. So you'd rather put someone else on or blast suck first. suck my friend's dick, or... Hmm. Let's just make it easier. It's not even your friend. It's just strangers. Just strangers? Just strangers, but they're so both the banging. They're both, yeah. Banging a hot chick with the big ass dick. Bang the chick with the dick? How do you do that? Or suck oh, the no, dick? Oh, no. Suck the dick. Right, that, I'll, and I'll, she's if, banging. That, not my friend. For sure, I would just bang the, the dude. But what if it is your friend? Like how good of friends are we? I don't name one of your actual friends right now. I can't do that. <laughs> 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 like what if Julia had a dick, right? Yeah, I said Julia had a dick. And I would see. I think it's a psychological thing because if I put anything in my mouth like that, yeah, what? That's for life. It's not a momentary dick suck. It's like for your whole life, you'll know what that feels like to have a dick insert itself in this orifice. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's so yeah. psychologically speaking. Because then there's a psychological, like, oh, dang, I put my dick in a dude who looked like a girl, but then you're kind of like, you can kind of like validate yourself and be like, I didn't know, slash, like, it's not like I was, you know, penetrated. Yeah. I penetrated. So I think you're more okay with that. Yeah. Versus like, you were penetrated, yeah. yeah. Julia, mm. let's say you had a big ass dick. Okay. Do you feel like you'd be closer with, with uh, another? Let's okay. Do you think you would be closer if Anthony sucked your dick or sucked on your nipples? Oh, <laughs> like closer as in like be intimate? Yeah. Or like just closer friends? Like I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like we're closer friends now. Yeah. Obviously, it would be the dick. You feel like you'd be closer, really? Yeah. As friends. Well, as friends? If, if I sucked your dick? <laughs> as friends? I thought we were talking about intimately. Oh. Yeah. Let's say as relationship wise, romantic friends though. Oh. What do you think? This is going yeah. really, really bad really fast. Yes. No, no, because I'm, I'm just yeah. thinking of that because, you know, for girls normally it's like if you give someone like your vagina or you give someone your boobs, then it's like, okay, now we're vulnerable with each other. Yeah. But then girls don't usually think about I'm having a dick. Tables turned. <laughs> You eat her out or you suck her dick. Which one would you rather do? Oh, fuck. That's Julia? Shit. Like, that would be going <laughs> lesbo, but like, I'm you might, freak, Julia. You might know what this feels like. You might know Julia, what this feels like. Julia, I feel like. good, girl. Would you God rather damn. suck Julia's dick uh, or eat I'll hook it out. up, Julia. I'm open huh? to both. I'm a giver. What? I love your dick. We said, would she, would she rather eat you out or suck her dick? <laughs> she needs the same thing. Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> How is it the same thing? Because, no. because it's both like you're you're using your mouth to pleasure the other person. No, but it's different it's though. Because so one's a dick and one's a vagina. Dick, girl. 
<laughs> one's a dick and one's a vagina. I think I would go with me. <laughs> if I were you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me ask you a question, Tiff. Tiff, let me ask you a question. What? You're a girl right, right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> Do you think... You should check first. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that's... Those are boobs. Right? What do you think is more makes you more intimate with someone? If someone sucked on your nipples, <laughs> or someone if someone sucked your dick. Fall if I had a dick. If you yeah. had a dick. Let's say you're a girl and you had a dick. <sighs> okay. Then do you think you sure would feel closer? Huh? Dick. The dick, really? Right. Because you don't. See, that's weird. Because I think for me, as a guy, uh -huh. if I had a bonus vagina right now, I would let anybody just lick it. Cause it's not part of my identity. It's just bonus. Mm. You know what I mean? That's why. That's why. Like from a guy's perspective, I feel like you, and you, it would still be more vulnerable to just let anyone suck your nipples. But then, the, I mean, uh, yeah, it'd be more vulnerable to let someone suck your nipples, and you're not. You're more intimate that way than a dick. Cause dick is like a bonus part. It's like here, you lick my finger. Anybody can lick my finger. No, I would still say dick is more private. For you, for even me. though you're a girl. Yeah. Why is that? Because um. Because it's down here, which is next to my vagina, which is also very private. So then if they would be in this area sucking me off, they would also be very near your vagina. vagina. But what if, okay, what if you, you get to keep your pants on and you just have to open the fly and your dick comes out? So your vagina is still very protected and your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I think I would still say penis. Really? Because the Damn. nipples too, like... Anybody can suck your nipples. No, not anybody can suck my nipples. But, um, I think I think I could let uh, anybody suck my nipples. Yeah, see, that's how guys think. That's why I'm, I'm asking you these questions because I feel like the way guys perceive things is way different than how girls perceive it. Well, if you Our ask nipples me, aren't sacred. You, yeah. So if you would ask me, would you rather have someone look at your nipples or look at your vagina? I would say look at my nipples. Yeah. So that's that's my thought process with the whole penis thing too. So if you had a if you had a dick. You would rather have, it's easier to let someone look at your nipples than look at your dick? Yeah. What? Even though the Prove dick's it. the bonus parts? <laughs> you can ask her. Because if I'm I was sure a girl. Julia. You see my nipples so many times. Because if I was a girl, <laughs> yeah. I would rather, I mean, if, I was a, if I'm who I am right now, yeah. and I had a vagina, I'd rather, I could show my vagina off anytime, because it's not part of my identity yet. Damn. Identity. Like, like you just I've got it like a new ever car. Ever since getting boobs, like, I feel like my boobs are artificial now, so I could just show it off with no shame. Because I feel like it's Brilliant. not... It's bonus parts, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's nothing. But if it was natural boobs, I was way more censored. Yeah, see? Because it's, it's the fake. real you. Hey. So yeah. You woke up, the car. You woke up yeah, with the vagina. Like, you want to see it? Cool. You would do. If I woke up with the vagina, am I connected to it? Like if I touch it, you touch it immediately. vagina. He's totally gonna. He's I'm, gonna fuck himself. Yeah, I'm gonna he's curl gonna my dick downwards and then and bone it. He's gonna now, do this. Now the question <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna curl the dick. No, 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 no. He ain't got no dick. You just you lost your dick. You just got a pussy. He's getting a then I would probably turn into a slut. Oh dang. Damn, right, so we're cool, getting guys. divorced for let's sure. Let's roll. Mm -hmm. Let's roll. There's gonna be a hot chick. Like when um, what was the dude that played in hot chick? Yes. So, so all you Bart fans out there, <laughs> fuck you guys first of all. No, Bart roasted me so hard that I feel like every day I walk out in fear. No way. In fear of the next person. And when somebody comes up, I'm not even thinking like, dang, you, you might be into dancing. I'm like, shit, you're a fucking shadow reflection of Bart. No way. And then I've been waiting. I've been, I've been scheming in my mind. I was like, when's the next time I'm going to get a chance to publicly defend myself? <laughs> and get back in the in the JK new seat in camera to just be like, yo, let me make a state of the union address right now <laughs> to all you fucks out there that think it's hella funny to come up to me and be like, yo, but you guys didn't even win. <laughs> and you know all the fools that are watching just that episode that you finally said that? There's a lot more that didn't see it. I know, that's why I gotta come back and say it every like four or five like But there's videos. also all the Instagram posts, all the other vlogs. You guys don't even believe like all the three other videos like, posted, that he said that. I there's like, like there's like hella photos on my Instagram where it'll be like a fucking sentimental real moment that I'm like thanking a friend for something, right? And like six, seven comments down, it's just like, but you guys didn't even win though. Fucking crying ha happy <laughs> emoji or like dash bark. And it's just like Fuck, dude, fuck, like, fuck, uh, fart. and the problem fuck, is with fuck. me, with me, at least my tolerance will be all right with it. 
But then some people, like the people posted in those photos, would be like, what does this mean? Like, what is, why are they uh, saying that? And it's like, over to the rest of the yeah, group. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, 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 like, cause nobody else gets it. And it's like, dude, there's just a bunch of dumbass little trolls out there. Yeah. What the fuck they're doing. See, guys, that's fucked up. What we do in here, it's me and Anthony. Me and Anthony, we're really good friends. Kiss, kiss. So I can talk all kinds of shit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we can talk all kinds of shit to each other because it stays within each other and we have that relationship. And when you guys just randomly go on comments and start, and you don't even know him and you say it in person or you say it in the comments, it can be hurtful because it's like, what type of rapport have you guys established? So you guys should cut that out. I mean, I know I hate that shit. They'll do it to me. What of things David and I fuck about or talk about? <laughs> what are you guys been fucking about? <laughs> I was say fuck around, but then the poo's about to fly out. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even know you, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you. Damn, my bear. Freaking killed it already. Fuck okay, yeah, it was so good. Were it you was hungry? Like a perfect balance of like, like the temperature was perfect. Um, it's very creamy, it's very garlicky, and then it's salty. It's like a perfect balance of all of that. Do you think it was bomb, or do you think it was bomb because you were hungry? I don't know. I don't know. I think I have to come back again, and then I'll be able to ask that question. It's hard to tell sometimes, huh? I was pretty hungry. I got the spicy one. Pretty. With extra beef. or well, not beef. Extra meat. Extra egg. Oh. Same thing as Anthony. Just shut up. I'm eating. Damn, so mean. Ever since he lost? Oh, no. <laughs> You walked into that one. I know, I'm like, why is it being mean? I you know. know he's gonna bang on you, right? I know. Nuh-uh. But it's okay, I already got it off my chest, all this right. I'm, like, um, I'm like reset, recalibrated for at least another uh -huh. six, seven insults for the next three months. Am I uh, welcome in your Kinja studio? Kinja's dojo? I need to consult with the other uh, party members, you know? They, they know who you are. Really? They know what you've done. They, they know the pain you and agony you caused. Even Quest Crew doesn't like you. Really? I thought they did. They did a video with us. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. Juice into your tank right here. First one. This is a subversion tank. And it's through my hand and my generosity that some sustainable energy is gonna go into your vehicle. <laughs> Love me. So me and Anthony are sharing a moment right now because this is the first time that I'm pumping gas into the Tacoma. We gotta share this and the first right time that I'm pumping gas into the Tacoma, Anthony is the one that is literally forcing and penetrating his fluids into my truck. So my truck is running on Anthony energy. Excuse me, it's energy. kinda slow, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just kinda... That nervous. thing is kinda slow, why is it so fucking slow? Hey man, I'm, I'm getting nervous because of the camera. You know, the, is that the how you usually perform? Just get the camera out of here and watch me fast. Where it comes really slow? Shh. Watch, I'll turn around, and I'll bet... What is Gio doing all over there? What are you doing over there, you little weasel? <laughs> All right, so I turn back and it's still moving slow. Oh my god. Yeah, but look, no hands. You're a slow performer. Still happening, automatic. That's true, true. Automatic I'm, sensations. I'm glad I was able to share my first gas pumping moment with you. One day our kids are gonna grow up and not gonna give a shit about this. About what? Sharing moments or pumping gas? Pumping gas. Pumping gas? Let me give you one more for all you guys out there. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here, on site, at the process of building the Kindred's Dojo out at 670 Monterey Pass Road. Suite number 200. Monterey Shameless Pass, plug. Shameless plug. Hi. Hi, good to So, this is literally the spot. Monitor passive vagabond. This is our downstairs area that we're gonna turn into our retail store. Before you go in, please tell me how excited you are about this place and how much of a dream come true it is and like how do you feel about this place overall? You know what's crazy? I'm so excited that when my parents came here, I even prepped my house. I was like, dude, my parents are gonna see the dojo today. Like, 
I wasn't expecting much. Not like they're gonna be like, dude, I'm so proud of you. But at the same time, maybe a little bit. Like, dang, this my son, my one and only son, like, did something to get to spot. When I brought him here, my mom was just judging. She was like, what? How much you pay? Wow, you have to save money. We'll give you the furniture. And my dad was a little bit more sense. He was like, you can't just give him the furniture. Like, they, they want to design and style their way. My mom was like, you have to save money. And I was like. That's that Asian upbringing where like nothing's good enough. Be happy for me. Guys. I know they couldn't just shed like one tear for you. My dad, yeah, my dad's just like, okay. So, do you get conditional use permit? <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude, just say like tight, you know? Let's just fucking hug me. enjoy the moment. Kiss me or something, you know? Yeah, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> Asian parents, god damn. Can you show us some love? Oh, it smells like new paint in here. Oh, did you guys put these floors in? Everything here was already as is. Oh, what? Even the mirrors? Even the mirror. Oh, Dude, that's right. fucking perfect already. What was it before? Uh, it hasn't been occupied for like five to seven years. Like yeah. Oh, you got a graffiti artist in here now? Yeah, we got a graffiti artist in here right now. Oh, it's yeah. big up here, dude. We got Mike Song at the building right now. What? Congrats. Congratulations. Dude, this place is yeah. tight, dude. Yeah, man. Hi, I'm Bart. Dude, this place is big, dude. Uh, yeah. Start. So this is so gonna be like the the main floor. Yeah, this is it. We're gonna put up a wall over here. Uh, this will be like the dance floor area. It's gonna be like our waiting area, so to speak. Uh, Was this floor already here? No, this floor we just put in. Oh, okay, it looks nice. Yeah, they're not even done with it yet. They haven't put the cord around around it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like the basic flooring. What's back there? That's the exit, so to speak. We're gonna change that door out, probably. I don't know. Right now is slight weight ghetto. Yeah. I guess we won't divulge too much, but we're gonna put the mirrors up on this side, so we're like covering up those windows and insulating them and whatnot. That's dope. And then over here is kind of our office space. This is a dope spot. You like the floor? Yeah, it's it awesome. Great. It's nice, right? You guys gonna keep it white? The uh, the paint on yeah. the walls? Yeah. For this phase, yeah, we're gonna wait until we get the thing functional. Afterwards, we can get a little bit yeah, more funky the design. This will be like office space for like a production team and ourselves to do like basic work. This we want to turn into the man cave. We want to let this be our lounge. We want to throw a TV on the wall, put some like you know L shaped couch in here, maybe a love sack, some Playstations and Xboxes, just to chill out, but. Not just to play and be lazy, but to like get out of there and get creative here. Whether we're putting together staging concepts, like delivering, you know what I mean, pitches to different clients and stuff like that, based off the artistry that we can put together. And yeah. Just Why like, not put the office in here and put the lounge over there? We don't want people out there to see us kicking it. We want mm -hmm. people out there to see us working hard. I see. So you got you guys thought that out. Yeah. That's Maybe dope. Close that for curtains and stuff. We'll pull blinds down when we're chilling. Oh. But we want to be able to look out. So. And make sure everyone's doing their job? Yeah, make sure everybody's having a good time. Taking care of people. That's dope, dude. I'm really proud of you, man. <laughs> what? He was just like taking it back. Like, I am. See, see. Dad? <laughs> no, I'm proud of you, dude. dude thank this you. is exciting times. This is fucking amazing. This is fucking exciting you times, dude. This freaking living room to this. That's fucking awesome. This is fucking awesome, all, dude. All of us work Living the dream. Super hard. All of us work super hard for this, you know. So, uh, proud of the squad. Proud of everyone who helped us get here. Once for the JK fam. I think I wouldn't have been as inspired as I was, or motivated, or what? saw the potential that regular nobodies could do something amazing. Damn. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> She's getting high off the paint. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It smells like crazy spray painting. What, what was this place before? Because they have this, like, I think what they were trees. trying to make it, uh, there's a health and wellness center downstairs, like chiropractic, acupuncture care mm -hmm. and whatnot, and I think that they were the trying to turn one. this into the rehabilitation gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it wasn't like a gym gym, but like they actually had it was like- strong enough to be a gym, pretty much. They had like the um, rubber tire type flooring thing. Yeah, 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 about? yeah. That, oh, was, yeah. that was down there, and we came in here and we are like, it was really convenient that we had it, but we were just like, why is it here? And they had mentioned, the lease manager said that, they were trying to make it a gym, but we we're like, a gym on the second floor? Like, it didn't really make sense. And then finally we met the people downstairs 
the, uh, the chiropractor came up and said, what's up to us? And she was like, yeah, we were trying to turn this into a rehabilitation gym, but things didn't work out. So you're welcome for the flooring. Is the bottom floor your guys' too? Yeah. What are you guys going to do down there? A retail showroom. We're going to turn that well, into... Well, we walked in, right? Uh-huh. That's sick. We're going like, to put like, a cash wrap down there. Uh, we're going to throw like, shelves on the wall and stuff to display all of our merchandise and all the stuff that like, people have just been getting from us and our partners and friends, too. Uh, hopefully turn it into its own boutique, something like that's... You know what I highly recommend? Putting, saving a wall, like maybe even downstairs for like your big ass logo. Cause then when people come and visit, like that's your marketing right there. They sure. will always take a picture. Are you giving them our Barbell Brigade secrets? No, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, cause everyone always likes taking a picture on that Barbell here. Brigade wall. We might do that up here, instead of downstairs. We, we might even entertain throwing a decal on the floor. So That'd when be you're dancing around and also the class videos, you'll always see that brand new. Yeah. yeah. I think that's uh, for our gym. That was one of the biggest things. We were, we wanted to put a giant logo in the back. So, you always so no matter you're where you're recording or taking a picture, you'll always have a glimpse of where the fuck you're at. Yep. In the we back. Never wanted you to forget. Oh yeah. Fuck you're at. See, advice from successful, amazing people themselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I can feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. Talking to your highness? <laughs> Talking to your highness? You're teaching him a new word he doesn't know anything of. Oh, highness is just like your your highness, you know? You know what I mean? Your highness. It means your girlfriend. What the heck? What the? I like your hair, Isaac. Thank you. Who combs it for you every day? Uh, me. What? You style it yourself? Yeah. You got skills. 